Now, listen up while I explain our next mission. The request comes from Anastasia of the Olashian Order. She wants us to get her a crocogator. What's that? You mean she wants the skin of a crocogator? Exactly. Apparently, the market for crocogator hides is booming. Uh huh? Why is that? You tell me, kid. Why would anyone want a crocogator hide? They use it to make fashionable bags. They're very popular with the wealthy ladies. Ah, is that right? You know about this stuff? That's good. We could really use your know-how on this job, Daniel. No way! I'm sorry, but I'm not going on this mission. Idiot! In this squad, you follow my orders! What's the problem, Daniel? I don't care what you say! I'm not going on this mission! I've always loved animals. When I was younger, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I grew up. What if it was Isabella? I can't even bear to think about it! Daniel, wait! It's no use, Sarge. If he says he won't do a mission, he just isn't gonna do it. Hmm. But who the heck is this... Isabella? Beats me. All right. Looks like it's just the two of us, then. Yeah, come on. Let's go. By the way, Sarge, where are we supposed to find a crocogator? They apparently live in the Elflands. The Elflands? I've had some bad times up there. Hey, Sarge, is that one? Huh? Yes, no doubt about it. Okay. Come on, check. Yes, sir. will be good enough? I'll be damned if I can tell the difference between them. It's perfect, boss. Come on, let's get home already. All right, let's take this to Anastasia. Sir!
are the chambers of Our Lady Anastasia, of the sacred Alashian order. She is certainly not accustomed to dealing with riffraff. What is it that you want? Riffraff? Sheesh, nice welcome. Lady, it was you who called us, okay? We are the Hectum Squad of Theater Vancouver. We're here about the Crocker game. Oh, of course. Wait here. What's her problem? And... Ryan. <laughs> I am sure you have heard of me. I see that you have been struck dumb by my beauty. It happens all the time. Yes, indeed, Lady Anastasia. Beauty? No one's talking to you. Now, now, Elena, that is enough. Yes, Lady Anastasia. Now, where is the crocogator hide that is going to make Anastasia rich? This is it. Hey, what's she doing? She is appraising the hide. Lady Anastasia has a remarkable eye for quality. Oh, really? You sure she's not just faking it? If you're rude to her ladyship one more time, you'll have seen your last sunrise, smart boy. Do not worry. When it comes to crocogators, no one has more discerning judgment than I. I wonder. Elena! Yes, Lady Anastasia. <laughs> yes, my lady. What's this? Your payment. This? This is it? Darlings, this skin is of very poor quality. Hardly worth my time. Did you even look at it properly? Keep the skin if you're not satisfied. And what are we supposed to do with a scrap of crockhide? Jack! Don't be so rude to the clients. If you don't like it, try doing a proper job in the first place. Oh, it seems the guild standards are slipping. Uh, I don't believe this! to pay for skipping out on the mission. Yes, sir. I'll accept any punishment you choose. But did you get it? The crocogator? Of course. It was our job. I knew it. Why are you moping? It's just an overgrown lizard. Just an overgrown lizard? Animals are living creatures, too. Sure, but come on. You eat meat, don't you? I do not! I don't eat meat! I couldn't do that! Not in front of Isabella! Say, Daniel, we've been wondering. Who's this Isabella you keep talking about? Isabella is the name of my pet crocogator. She's been with me since I was little. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Isabella is one of the family! Uh, Daniel... I'll never, ever hunt crocogators, no matter how many times you ask. I won't do it even if you fire me. Try it and see! Boy, the kid is pretty ticked off. Yeah, seriously. Anyway, the squad mission is done. That'll be all for today. You're dismissed. Yes, sir.
stupid, ignorant, stupid pumpkin heads. Who cares about theater van corps? Who wants to be a warrior anyway? There are all kinds of jobs in this town. I won't work for just anybody. Oh, if only that were true. The fact is, I wish I were in Jack's shoes right now. <laughs> oh, that pitiful voice. It must be the sound of my own weeping heart. No, it isn't. There's a child crying somewhere. Somewhere? Around here, I think. Hello. What happened here? Are you all right? Who... who are you? <laughs> no one you need to be afraid of. I was just passing by. I heard you crying. So I thought I'd stop and see if I could help. It's mother. She's gone. Aha, you've lost your mother, have you? Well, let's go look for her together. No, not me, the kitten. His mother's lost. The cat's mother? Yeah. He looks so sad. I want to help him find his mommy. But she isn't anywhere. <laughs> now, 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 is that any way for a young boy to behave? I've got it. Why don't you come with Uncle Gans and we'll look together? Really? You do that? Thanks a lot, Grandpa. Uncle will be fine. Now, come along. We'll find her before the day is out, I'm sure. It all worked out, didn't it? I told you we'd find his mother. Yeah. Now we just have to get you back to your mother. Are you all right? You dirty kidnapper. You get your hands off my boy right now! Huh? Mom, no! You've got it wrong! The old man was helping me! What? This bum is going to join us? Uh-huh. I already talked to the bosses and they okayed it. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Rinka, are you sure about this? This guy seems a bit, you know, slow in the head or something. I think so too. So why let him in? I don't know. Morbid curiosity, maybe. Hmm. I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs>